after I had shot two coyotes, we actually got up and started sneaking towards what appeared to be a dead animal. And believe it or not, it happened to be one of the rancher's calves that the coyotes were eating on. So join us now, my brother Jeff and I, and we start sneaking over to that dead calf and see if we can't take one of the coyotes that's hanging right there by it. I seen, I seen one leaving. He's clear over there, and they don't know. They're just leaving. in this morning to call I seen all the cows right here so they just killed this calf this morning um, I don't know how many coyotes are here so they they started messing with this cow or else they caught a calf all by itself we killed two coyotes right up on the hill we seen so many coyotes down here we just walked and I knew I could see three coyotes, two of them bedded down and then one eaten. And I thought, you know what? I better just take the one. So that's what I did. And I seen a total of four more leave. So we killed one. They're just getting started on that calf. It's getting pretty windy. We may just camp on this calf today and just start picking off whatever comes in. So Thompson Center Compass, Hornady Superformance, 50 grain VMAX. You saw what it did. It was only a 120 yard shot. I feel so bad for the rancher and that, you know, whenever you get one coyote that kills, they, they can cause a lot of damage. So we killed one, we killed two up there. So we killed three, but there is a scat of coyotes right here. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share it with your friends and beat that like button up, would you? Until next time, I'm going to get outdoors.